In today's video, we're gonna show you how to edit Insta360 video in Adobe Premiere Pro. And I'm not talking about VR, but I'm talking about taking that footage and reframing it in your video so that it's 2D like this. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to insta360.com and then go to downloads. This part is crucial. So pick whichever can camera you have, if it's the 1X or the 1R. You're going to scroll down to the Insta360 Studio 2020 and you're gonna get that for either Windows or Mac. And also, this part is super important, you're gonna grab this third-party software so they link you to GoPro's website and you're gonna need the GoPro FX Reframe plugin. This is the most important part of the entire video. <laughs> So the main thing we're gonna do with the Insta360 Studio is use the plugin for Adobe Premiere. I don't actually use the Insta360 Studio at all. So once you get it downloaded, let's go ahead and install the 360 Studio. Okay, so here you're gonna wanna make sure you have checked file associations with the INSV and INSP files. Also, crucial step here, install the plugins for Adobe Premiere and also the thumbnail plugin. It's very nice to be able to go to your file explorer and see a thumbnail instead of just a blank file. So make sure you have those checked. Okay, we don't want to launch the studio, hit finish. Then we're gonna download the GoPro reframe <clears throat> I'm doing that for Windows, making sure that I have that, get that installed, install, all right, perfect. So now that we have those, let me show you what the thumbnail looks like. So now all these INSV files, as you can see here, they have the thumbnails on them, which is very handy for being able to tell what that file was. You don't need to pull it into the 360 Studio. You can pull this directly into Adobe Premiere Pro, which is huge. Let's go over to Premiere Pro now. I'm gonna do a new project, just like I'm making any other YouTube video. All right, so I'm gonna pull in some footage here just from my Sony A6600. Um, we'll just grab this. And I'll put that on the timeline so that this is some 4K footage for this sequence here. And then now we're actually gonna pull in the INSV files and I'll show you how to do that. So let's go grab our 360 video. You do not have to select both files, like the one for the front and the back of the camera. You can just pull one in and because you have that plug in, Adobe will be able to know what the other file is and you'll get that 360 pulled into Adobe. So you can either click and drag or import, however you're gonna do it. So I'll click and drag that down here. And it went ahead and put both of those files together. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on the timeline. And before you do the reframe, this is what it's gonna look like. This is what your 5.7K footage looks like. And just scrubbing through, it's not the best. So we've got that GoPro effect so we'll go to effects and you're gonna type in uh, GoPro VR and then you're gonna go GoPro VR reframe. You're gonna drag and drop that onto this file and then watch what happens. Look at that. Now over on the effects panel here, you've got the GoPro reframe. So you can edit your field of view. So you can zoom way out, you can zoom way in, you can pan all the way around, just really nice. Um, you've got your pitch, you've got your roll, just like that. And then really editing is super simple. So you'll start out, you can add some keyframes if you want. So field of view, yaw, pitch, roll, um, smooth transition. I'm not really gonna get into that here, but you can play around with it. Let's move forward some and go ahead and zoom out and change the yaw a little bit something like that. So now you can just kind of watch. This is really loud, let me turn this down, watch this. So now, you can just watch this. 
with the keyframes. Yeah, so <clears throat> you can play with it. This is awesome. Very, very easy to do. Another thing that you can do, and this is what you can also do in the uh, Insta360 Studio. If you go over here into the project, if you right click on your INSV file and go to source settings, you can toggle all of the options that you could in that Insta360 Studio. So if you had the venture case or a dive case, um, you can check those things. I'll show you the difference. Um, I don't have a case on here, but I'll just hit confirm. You should see the difference. Yeah, so you can see it's changing how it's stitching the footage here. So I'll go back into source settings. I'm gonna turn that off. Um, another thing you can do with the dynamic stitching is the chromatic calibration. So it's exaggerated here, but you can see this line because of the two lenses. You know, one's looking directly at the sun, one is not. So there can be kind of a color difference where the stitching takes place. So this will help alleviate that. I'll just show you, confirm that. That is how that works. And then the last thing is you can also toggle the flow state stabilization on or off, and you can also lock the direction as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn these things off. Flow state stabilization on because it's awesome. And that is pretty much it, folks. And so now you've got, you know, your GoPro reframe so you can move around, decide what you wanna do, how you want it to look. And uh, I think this is pretty awesome. Very easy to do. Surprisingly, maybe I just don't know where to look or when I was looking, there weren't videos that clearly showed how to do this. So I had to do a good bit of hunting to just find these two things. Download Insta360 Studio, get the plugin, um, get the little thumbnail thing, get the GoPro reframe, and you're pretty much good to go and you're gonna have some awesome footage in Adobe Premiere Pro. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. As always, don't forget to thumbs me up, but the most important thing that you can do other than give me a thumbs up, commenting is share this video. So if you know somebody with an Insta360 or who's interested, please go ahead and share this video with them. And if you don't even own an Insta360 or curious about it, I have a video here that you can check out where I go and review the Insta360 One R. Thanks for watching Break It Yourself and we will see you next time.